Okay, so in this video I'd just like to show why Anki buries cards. So if you want to turn this function off, you go to your deck, you click this button, click options, and you uncheck this box. But assuming this box is checked, I'll show you the behavior of the deck and why it might be useful. So as an example, let's create a minimal pairs deck. And you'll understand what this is by the end if you don't already. So click this this and let's create a new note type call this note type minimal pairs choose this note type and we're going to need four fields transcription audio transcription number two and audio number two so basically when you are learning a foreign language sometimes they'll there will be words that sound very similar to each other even though they're different words and they're supposed to sound very different but you need to train your ear for that to be the case so as an example Japanese has short vowels and long vowels so this one is obasan and this one is obasan so the the a uh, sound is longer in this one. So let's say we record the audio, get a native speaker um, saying this word, and we have a native speaker saying this word. And to add audio, you just drag and drop the audio into the field. So now let's create our card model. We need two cards. The first card will say, do you hear transcription or transcription number two and on the front will also be the audio for this one and on the back will be the answer and now this card will be almost the same except it's going to be playing audio number two and it's going to be telling you that the answer is the second one so as you can see here, it'll say, do you, I wrote that incorrectly, do you hear, and do you hear. Okay, so the first one will say, do you hear obasa or obasa, and then it will play obasa, and it will tell you that that's the answer. And the second one, do you hear obasa or obasa. And this time it'll play the second one, Obasa, and tell you that that's the answer. So, now that you have this, you add the cards, and now you have two. It'll, it'll say two. And you study, play this first one, you need to know it's the first one, and, but now it will not show you the second one. And you can click unbury for it to show you the second one press study now and it'll show you the second one but the reason why Anki buried that card was because basically knowing the answer it doesn't even matter if you know the answer or not it, it doesn't matter if you knew the answer or not for the first card because the second card is simply going to be the other one so even if the first one played and you didn't know that it was this one it did give you the answer that it was that one, meaning when you see this card, even if you don't listen to it, you can't hear it properly, you know it's gonna be the second one. So basically, Anki realizes that when you are generating multiple cards from a single note, in many cases, seeing one of the cards from one of the cards being generated by that note will give you the answer or give you hints for the other cards. So that's why Anki has this function, but if you have a card model where that's not the case, you can simply hit this, as I said before, and uncheck the box. And the other thing, of course, is when you, when you do this, and it does this, you can just click the unbury button. So if some of your cards are such that seeing one of them gives you a hint for the others then you can leave this thing on but in cases where it's not happening just press this